Hello again, welcome to another Nick Quick Tip. Today I'm going to show you how to make a recipe in Color Effects Pro. Okay, say I want to process uh, all of the image from a particular photo shoot and I want to give them at least a similar treatment because I want to have a consistent look. So say I like Glamour Glow and I like to add Dynamic Skin Softener and I like to add maybe Sunlight and say you just have a bunch of filters that you use frequently. Say you use brilliance and warmth quite a bit. Now, granted, this is not the look that I would necessarily go for here, but what I do is, is I add a whole bunch of filters and say I'm going to be using the same filters, same four or five or six or however many you want, on each image, but I want to be able to manipulate them separately. So I'm going to leave all of these sliders at their default because some images might need a little bit more or a little bit less glamour glow or dynamic skin softener or white neutralizer or whatever it is that you're using. So I'm going to leave all of these at the default but I want all of these filters available with one click. So I'm going to click on save recipe. So this says you get a little pop-up here that says click to save current filters as a custom recipe. So if I'm going to click on save recipe and I'm going to say baby photos. There we go and I'm going to click OK. So now in my recipes I have one that's called baby photos. Now if I click on this and say add to favorites and click OK, the next time I come into Photoshop, whether it's this image or another, and I come down to my Color Effects Pro 4 within my Nick Selective tool, and I click on recipes, there it is, baby photos. So let's delete that layer, okay, like it doesn't exist. So I'm going to click on baby photos. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up Color Effects Pro and it's going to apply every filter that I just picked. Glamour Glow, Dynamic Skin, Sunlight. Oops, looks like I did Glamour Glow twice. <laughs> However you save it. Apparently I saved it wrong. So. so now I can come in here and I can make very subtle changes cool the light, warm the light. I can even just get rid of one. I don't like all of these filters on this particular image. So I get rid of that one and click OK. It doesn't change the recipe. It just changes it for that one photo. So I can open it again. Baby photos. I'm probably going to have the two glamour glows again. There we go. Glamour glow twice. Oops. But you can see how save recipe can save you a lot of time if you are processing a group of images but you want to treat each one with the individual care that it deserves. Hope you've enjoyed the quick tip and I'll see you next time.